नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर दीप्तार्क भट्टाचार्य आई एम एन ई एन टी एंड स्कॉल बेस्ट सर्जन आई करंटली प्रैक्टिस एट अपोलो स्पेक्ट्रो हॉस्पिटल कोरा मांगला आई हैव रिसीव ट्रेनिंग इन ई एन टी इन इंडिया आफ्टर विच आई हैव फॉर द ट्रेनिंग इन द यू के एंड फेलोशिप इन स्कॉल बेस एंड साइनस सर्जरी एंड फेशियल प्लास्टिक सर्जरी फ्रॉम द यू एस एफ ए to prevent from contracting black fungus so due to the covid pandemic and the second wave many patients are at a very high risk of contracting this disease so you need to first know are you at high risk of getting black fungus and there are three reasons why you may be at high risk one most patients who get covid and are admitted to hospitals are elderly and they are diabetes and number two many of these patients are being treated with high dose steroids which further reduces your immunity and number 3 is that as you're recovering from covid your viral your immune system is already weakened due to the viral infection so if any of these three things seems like it is you then you are at higher risk so the easiest ways to try to prevent it is one use saline nasal drops or something that moisturizes the nose so that you wash away the fungal spores number 2 do not use any kind of ortrovir xylometazole and these kind of nasal drops which further reduce the blood supply to your nose and increase your chances of getting the infection number 3 do not use any kind of steroid nasal sprays for at least 15 days number 4 consider stopping your steroid inhalers if possible for at least a week after you're out of the hospital number 5 do a quick vision check and check to see how your eye movements are every day number 6 if you have any changes in your vision eye movements or ability to see red blue and yellow colors or if you are not if you feel like your breathing is worse or if you're not able to smell or if you see anything black on the roof of your mouth during your self checks make sure you see an ENT doctor at the earliest because this needs to be looked into this needs to be diagnosed and these are very frequently missed because the early signs of black fungus or mucomycosis is extremely extremely subtle often patients present to us with nothing other than just a paleness of the lining of the nose So the doctor needs to look at it. We need to take tissue samples if required, and we need to start treating you at the earliest. One important factor that I do want to highlight here is that in our papers that we have done, and we have a series of more than a hundred patients that we have personally seen and followed up, we found that when the disease is restricted to the nose, we get about an 80 to 90 percent cure rate as long as we follow the the approaches to treatment. But once the disease spreads from the nose into the eye, the chances of recovery goes down to 45 to 50% and once it crosses the eye and goes into the brain the chances of survival are less than 10% so as you can understand time is money do all of these things to prevent but if you have the slightest suspicion it's better to suspect it and be wrong than not suspect it and be wrong thank you so much doctor